Denise, that steam was gushing out of the ground at around 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And right now, Utah Street remains closed. We want to take you up to Sky Eye Chopper 13 to get a bird's eye view of the cleanup efforts. In the past half hour, we have seen a number of workers with hazmat suits and masks trying to clean up the scene here. And a lot of people are wondering just what was in the air when that explosion happened. Investigators are working around the clock to determine what caused a high-pressure underground steam pipe to explode on one of downtown Baltimore's busiest blocks, injuring five people. Jackson Cooper was walking near the blast and says it was terrifying. I looked behind us and there was this humongous cloud of smoke. My mom saw rubble flying everywhere and we didn't know what it was, so we just ran. Just a ginormous gray cloud coming out of the... Um, back right there. It looks like it was just a bomb. Veolia is the company that owns and operates the system that provides steam to more than 250 customers. They're excavating the 12 inch pipe that blew up and say they regularly inspect the system. I don't feel that we're in danger of uh, steam pipes exploding all over the city, uh, but we do have an issue as we well know. Uh, as it relates to our underground pipe system. They put up a fence here along Utah Street, but you can still see the power of the explosion, the dirt on several vehicles that are left behind here, and how the pavement just exploded from the ground in the middle of Utah Street. Could have been catastrophic. Uh, you could have many, many uh, lives lost. Have you ever seen anything like this? Not in this city. It, it, it's akin to uh, something one would see in photos of a volcano that blew its top. Right now, it's unclear how long the block of Utah between Pratt and Lombard will remain closed. And there's concern over what chemicals were in the air. WJZ saw crews in hazmat suits cleaning up. And a person whose car was trapped says officials told him it needs to be cleaned after being coated with chemicals from the explosion. So live from Sky Chopper 13, you can see the cleanup efforts underway. And moments ago, we got an update from Veolia. They say that air quality has come back normal, negative for airborne pollutants. However, initial environmental testing at the site of the break indicates a low-level asbestos reading. They are still awaiting results related to pollutants in the mud and debris in the affected area. And so because of an abundance of caution, that is why you are seeing the has Matt Cruz cleaning up the scene. Again, there may be some asbestos in that mud and debris. That is what they are concerned about. And it could be a week or more before Utah Street is even back open again. There's a lot more work to do. It's seven to 10 days, they say, before they get the samples that they sent in from the pipe back and they've got to review operations. That's the latest new update from Veolia. We're live at the scene on Utah Street. Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News.